the Elizabethan Police Department is going 3D, at least when it comes to their scanners. It's our top story tonight. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Ansley Daniel. The 3D scanner comes courtesy of grant monies, a violent crime reduction initiative grant of almost $150,000. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley spent the day in Elizabethan where officers are training to use this new equipment. On the last day of training classes for the Elizabethan Police Department's new 3D scanner, officers from the accident reconstruction team and criminal investigations are learning how to use a device that will strengthen their evidence in investigations. Is everybody still green? Elizabethan Police Department officers trained to use the Faro Focus Laser Scanner, recently obtained through a grant. Uh, rotates around, picks up all the details. We just have to move it at various different points as long as they overlap. We can get a 3D picture scene of the whatever it is we're filming. The 3D scanner takes a 360 degree pan of the room collecting thousands of data points to create a fully measurable 3D environment. By moving the scanner to different heights and points of the area, it can capture an image in color. 3D images can be printed from the pictures taken by the scanner, and virtual reality goggles can be connected to allow someone to walk through the scene, making the image strong evidence in the courtroom. If somebody has a question as to what was on the desk, we can zoom in on the desk onto each individual item on there. It has that much detail. Officers say the Faro scanner will make evidence gathering and investigations more efficient and accurate. This has actually been standardized in federal and state court and in the scientific community. Rather than us constantly running around with yardsticks and tape measures, we can do the measurements actually through the computer. The scanner has an accuracy of plus or minus a millimeter. After today's training, the scanner can be used to provide evidence for any investigation, not just homicides. Clarice, thanks. Now we mentioned that a $150,000 grant helped to pay for that scanner. Some of the money from that grant will also be used for a two-year program to combat violent crime.